people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to another very exciting FNAF news video because we just got 8 brand new screenshots for FNAF Security Breach Ruin. If you hear a slight breeze in the background, it is hot as hell, but this hot temperature is not going to stop me from making this very important video because we got some crazy new screenshots for the DLC. These were all revealed on Daco's charity stream uh, happening today for the Trevor Project. It was a very amazing stream, Stuwool came in clutch with these announcements we also got a, a few more announcements in the form of pop goes reveals a few brand new merchandise reveals for hex and u2s all the rest of that will be in a separate news video coming out pretty soon but right now we got to talk about ruin now unfortunately we did not get a release date for the dlc nor did we get a brand new trailer i definitely wasn't expecting a trailer but at least some vague release date would have been nice because we are getting very close to July. And I'm not trying to put pressure on Steel Wool, but I've seen a lot of people now start to get a bit worried about its release date because we don't have that release date. But it's whatever. I'm going to let them cook. I'm going to assume, pray, and hope they're working on some big, uh, another gameplay trailer that's going to have the release date. But either way, we still got eight fantastic gameplay screenshots to take a look at. So let's not waste any more time if you're excited for Ruin because we will be playing it on the channel. Don't forget to scroll down, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more news. And this is our first teaser. We're hopping right into it. This is the marketing lobby. Now we've seen this lobby before in the gameplay trailer for Ruin. This is more of a wide angle shot. We can see a whole bunch more of the room and it is, dare I say, in Ruin. <laughs> Once again, we've got the newspaper papers covering the entire glass to the entrance of the pizzeria a whole bunch more construction vehicles forklifts we've got a lot more graffiti off to the left side you can see someone spray painted fazbear on the wall all the lights and neon signs are turned off the posters are all ripped up the fences are knocked over the floor is chipping away it is not a good state this lobby is in quite frankly a lot of these brand new teasers are just stills of environment so there's not a whole lot to talk about besides Hey, look at how destroyed this place is now. But just to get a better idea of how ruined these locations are, this is a comparison between what it traditionally looks like and what it looks like now. For the second teaser, we've got Glam Gifts, most definitely short for Glamrock Gifts, which is one of the shops towards the entrance of the Pizza Plex. Once again, this is what it looks like in the normal game in the main game of Security Breach, and now it is really really destroyed i'm gonna keep saying it but this place is not looking too hot the thing that stuck out to me the most besides all of the decorations and displays being taken out of the glamrock gifts we've also got this deactivated staff bot i was curious to know if they were going to completely scrap all the staff bots because i know a lot of people were not a fan of how many there were in the main game but based on this it looks like they will be making a return in some form at least whether they're completely deactivated and they're just there for aesthetic reasons or maybe much like the endoskeleton they only activate if you get too close to them. I'm not entirely sure, but it's very interesting that this guy is still here inside of the Glamrock gift salon. He has not been taken out along with the other gifts and displays. And once again, just a whole bunch of graffiti, a whole bunch of ripped up posters and decors around the, around the establishment. The floor is getting torn up. Like I said, everything's been taken out. It's going to be very interesting to explore. Uh, locations that were once super super decorated with a whole bunch of plushies and toys and you know neon signs and cool posters everywhere to now just this almost nothing the third out of eight image we have the food court this is the kitchen area we also saw this in uh the gameplay trailer this is where that little dipping bird that looks like glamrock chica is disgustingly there's a whole bunch of moldy pizza i definitely don't want to be exploring this <laughs> area i feel very bad for cassie it does look like there's going to be a crawl space that we can crawl through or at least have to crouch through to fully explore the rest of the food court some people are pointing out that this might be blood dried blood i'm not entirely sure why there would be blood what other human was crushed here or dismembered here or just plain murdered here i'm not entirely sure it could very well not be blood could be grease oil uh, other things you'd expect to see you know in a kitchen like environment but i know a lot of people wanted ruin to be a lot more eerie and gory it doesn't necessarily have to be insanely brutal but just a little bit of blood here and there so i do wonder if steel wool is going to listen to that criticism and apply it to this more eerie dark 
mysterious DLC. Halfway through, this is the Lucky Stars gift shop outside of the daycare. We can spot three endoskeletons outside, much like the staff bot. These guys are deactivated. We do know that they will activate when we walk past them, most likely if we get too close or we make too much noise. We can also see the door is closed, and once again, just like we saw in the gameplay trailer, there is a puzzle box that we have to activate using our Faz device, as I like to call it. Do a little Among Us puzzle, and that is when it's going to open up, and there is another shot later on in the gameplay trailer that shows up uh, shows us inside this gift shop so we can definitely get in there at some point now why exactly we need to go in here maybe it's just more collectibles because that was what uh, was in there in the main game not entirely sure if there's like a mission we have to go in here for I don't remember there being anything that significant in that establishment so I'm not entirely sure it might just be another area that we can open up explore a little bit it's not a huge area but you know more places to explore the merrier now the latter half of these images are very interesting starting off with teaser number five we've got the catwalks in Monty's Gator Golf and if you look right to the bottom right of your screen you can see ruined Monty Gator he is still alive he is still roaming around his catwalks looking for us and he's definitely not happy you can see he's beaten up he's clawed at the uh, little gun pellets the turrets we had uh, during his boss fight most likely that is not going to work anymore he's probably learned his lesson he's not going to let us defeat him with those turrets anymore maybe we have to find another way I can see some radioactive maybe explosive barrels maybe we gotta blow them up in this boss fight if this is even a boss fight I don't know but that is the only reason why I can think we would go back to the catwalks to have a rematch up against Monty up in the top right you can see uh, one of the rides in Monty's Gator Golf. Keep in mind, we're going to go back to that ride. It's going to be very important later on. But yeah, just all of the scaffolding, all of the beams and the wires hanging down from the ceiling, all of the platforms just in complete disarray. It's going to be very tough to traverse across this area. And hopefully if this is another boss fight, we can emerge victorious. Moving on now to teaser number six, we have Chica's Cupcake Bakery featuring Ruined Chica, Ruined Glamrock Chica, whatever you want to call her. Not all that much to talk about with this teaser in particular, just more environments that have a whole bunch of trash and construction uh, put up. Though focusing on Chica herself, you can definitely see her skull, her, her suit, is rotting away it's melting away i remember watching docker reveal this teaser and he's like oh look guys look at all the melted cheese on chica and i don't think it's melted cheese it's probably her suit melting away we did see that in the teaser uh poster last year we can see chica's uh, suit is in fact rotting away melting away whatever it is maybe it's from the fire from the burn trap ending or the fire from the fire escape ending there's a few explanations for why chica is in this state but nothing is going to stop her from going back to those trash piles and digging in you go queen now for our seventh second to last teaser we're returning to Monty's Gator Golf. We are now on the lower level, the main level of Monty's Gator Golf, where everyone does their putt-putt, they all do their little mini golf, though it might be a bit difficult to shoot your shots with this golf course, because once again, everything is in just a complete state of disarray. Even poor Monty is crushed underneath this board. I've seen a few people speculate this is when we first encounter Monty, where he's, you know, underneath all the rubble of the collapsed pizza plex and maybe we try and help him because you know hey cassie i love those animatronics they entertained me so much when i was uh, still little i guess because you're a child so we go to help him up but lo and behold he is corrupt he is not friendly he tries to go after us and now we've set him free and he's roaming the pizza plex and he's after us we can see the balls from the Oh, the splash pit. Nope, that's not it. The hurricane hole in one. Something interesting to note is that Monty Golf Arcade Machine. It is completely intact. It has not got a scratch, a single mark on it. In fact, it looks like everything that's collapsed has kind of collapsed around the arcade machine. So why exactly it's been preserved in this collapsed ruined state of the pizza plex? I don't know. Maybe there's going to be more levels we can play. Maybe we're going to be playing the same levels, but they too are also now ruined and destroyed. I'd love that. That'd be an amazing detail. Maybe we're finally going to get an explanation for all of the arcade machines being connected. The, you know, arcade conspiracy as it was called. And it does also have a Monty mask, which was a collectible item in the main game, but it was not on that arcade machine in the traditional main game security breach. So why that is there, 
I have no clue. Does it symbolize something? I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out. And now we move on to the eighth and final teaser. It's nothing too, too massive, but from what we've seen previously, I think it's pretty significant. This is the Monty's Ride Repair, a brand new area, one of the first, if not the first brand new areas we've seen, which does confirm we will be exploring brand new areas in this DLC, which has me very excited. It seemed like a lot of the DLC was just going to be re-exploring the main pizza plex, but now in a ruined state, but it does really, really make me satisfied to know that we will in fact be getting brand new areas we've not seen before. And this area, you can tell from the teaser alone, is absolutely massive. Now, why exactly we'd need to be in this area? Are we going to need to repair one of these machines? I feel like Cassie, a little child, is not going to know how to do something like that, but knowing FNAF, it's probably just going to be a Simon Says puzzle. Quite frankly, I would not be surprised if this is the scene that takes place uh, right before that scene where Cassie is writing one of these things into the catwalks of Monty Golf that we saw in the gameplay trailer. Again, I feel like that's probably leading to the big boss fight, the rematch with Monty up in the catwalks, especially because it looks like we can see what appears to be a save icon, an autosave. Why would that be there in that specific location point in the game? probably because we're about to enter a very hard portion of the game. A boss fight? I don't know. It's certainly interesting. I do hope we get a lot more environments, brand new rooms, and, you know, locations to explore in the Pizzaplex. But that is going to do it for today's video. Like I said, nothing too, too special, but I am always excited to see brand new looks at the gameplay for Ruin. Again, I hope we get a release date soon because we are right, we are knocking on July's door. It's right there. We're about to go into its house. So here's to hoping maybe we can get another trailer pretty soon. There was a whole bunch of other announcements on Docos stream. Like I said, U2's, Hex, Pop Goes. We're going to be, ooh, I hit my mic. We're going to be talking about that in a later FNAF news video. But that's going to do it for this one. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the brand new screenshots and teasers for Ruin. Are you excited? Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye.